everybody. This is C4 Explorer. And uh, as you can see, I'm coming to you from a uh, uh, what used to be a church. I decided to go ahead and show the outside shots because I like the uh, architecture of this place. You know, it's, it's impressive, I think. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a full explore here. I won't lie, it's been kind of a tricky day doing this video. Uh, the first time I did the video, at the end it cut off uh, before I did, you know, my, my goodbye kind of deal. And so, of course, I, I just couldn't leave it with it just cutting off in mid-sentence. So I tried again. I had too much data on my phone, so I had to delete a bunch of old stuff. And then I did another video full walkthrough, but I forgot one big area um, that I wanted to show in this church. So I feel, I, I'm just too neurotic for my own good. I was like, well, I'll go ahead and shoot this last video. I want to try to get it all in. I do it right this time. You can see I'm standing up on the balcony here. Um, structure itself, I mean, it seems pretty safe i mean it's not creaky up here or anything i like the fact that you can see the the carpet of course is very dirty and ceiling tiles are coming down but it's this plush red carpet pretty decent condition just needs you know a little breeze it out vacuum it i'm coming up to the window here big round window we can look outside unfortunately there is no steeple access. There is, but I, I can't get up there, so we're going to miss out on that. But there is plenty to see in here. All the There's still a lot of pews in here. And that cool painting back there. You would think on my third try I'd know this place well enough that this will be the last video I have to shoot. So. And even though there's quite a bit of traffic around. Oh, we can fall right down and even pavement. Um, it, I mean, nobody seems to have noticed that I, I'm parked over here. Or the people that keep seeing me walk outside to restart the video and then walk back in and then walk back outside. Now, what the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and go into the sanctuary. You can tell there's obviously been construction work done, and there is quite a bit of vandalism, unfortunately. Um, you know, the, uh, the vandals and, and whatnot have found the place. I just feel, I'm happy that I found this place on Google Maps. And I was hoping that it was open enough for me to be able to get in. And I'm happy to know that I, I can. I'm able to do a full explore. Let's see here. I love this painting here. This is where they would have done the baptism. I'm assuming this here is like the, the choir pit. And then you'd have the bathtub and this beautiful mural. Very realistic. Very well done painting. Yeah. We'll kind of step up here and you see there you get dumped. Dunked in the Jordan River. Yeah. I'm really hoping my thumbnail lands on something cool. On uh, whenever I go to process a video, I'm not sure how to do it, and I'm sure there there's an easy solution that I just don't. I'm not aware of. But I always like I usually kind of luck out with thumbnails, but sometimes I end up getting. Like just just a stupid picture, and then it gives you an option of three in my little YouTube studio, and and sometimes I'll look out and actually get uh, a really good shot, but sometimes I just have these crap shots. It's like, trust me, the video is more interesting than the thumbnail implies. 
So I'm hoping that I get a good thumbnail with this, not just like a random, you know, piece of trash on the floor or here in the back of the church, School of Wisdom. This is where all the classrooms are. And then we'll take a trip over there. Actually, we'll go ahead and go this way first. We'll go down into the uh, fellowship area in the kitchen. Which is what I forgot to show on the second attempt at the video. I love all this wallpaper they have. I have little children at play. This is, I would say, most likely a uh, classroom of some sort. I have various religious posters, church related. God is near. And of course I had to sign my name. It's not vandalism if you can erase it. Scrapey wallpaper. Everything's cute today, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing all these little, you know, like where they, where the kids were kept or where the kids went to. You see little toys laying around. It's kind of sad, but you figure, you know, maybe maybe there's a good reason why they had to finish it. You know, maybe they got a new building. You know, all the kids are probably grown up now and. Hopefully living happy and fulfilling lives. Just kind of looking at stuff on this desk here. This is an old office. A floppy disk, coffee maker, with spiders in it. Computers. We have the old rotary telephone. Remember those peoples? Yeah. <laughs> we have this room. It's the jungle room. Various animals. Key here is to say Pastor Study. Baptist. Maybe this is a Baptist church. This I thought was kind of weird. I mean, not really weird. I mean, you know, it's, it's something that, that children maybe it's got this caution tape around it. Like the box itself is dangerous. Unless they just used it to block a room off or something, and the box happened to be convenient. Another hymnal. The rest of the the hymnal we saw. Chalkboard. Mostly offensive stuff. We have YouTube L L and C exploring. I don't know. I think I've heard of them. Uh, I don't know who you guys are, but I'll give you a little shout out on my video. Um, obviously, you've been here, so you know you've got some pretty cool abandoned sites that you check out. I'll have to. Get on YouTube and see what y'all got. I hope y'all are staying safe out there. I have the various uh, religious things in Spanish. Testamento de Bolisto. Bocido. Brotherhood manual ministry is your passion. We understand why. Some kind of a pastel green color on this paneling here. This is like the 15th time I've had to duck under those wires. 
And if I had done it right the first time, if I just, you know, it's okay though. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. We'll get a good video out here sooner or later. And obviously my footprint isn't too big. If I haven't had anybody still at this point, I've probably been here for maybe an hour or so. If somebody still hasn't come up. So what the hell are you doing in here? So we got our bed frame. This must have been the daycare. We have Santa Claus or God. I guess he could have served as both. I have some beds or mattresses. A baby crib. Yeah. Got some little decals on it. Various children's toys. Horse, bunny, I don't know. Yeah, I like the it's that pastel y kind of color, like the blue and the green. Where was the room that had the Ten Commandments in it? I can't remember. So I went through there. That wasn't it. That was, that was further up. I'm trying to get my bearing. Just, I don't want to keep walking through the same room that we've been in already. Yeah, here it is. It has various multinational people. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very colorful. It's rotting out in here. And we have, I'm, I bring to you the Ten Commandments, although I didn't bring them, God did, but that's beside the point. <laughs> kind of faded. Then we have some scripture. This here's a restroom. I think that was the men's bathroom. I think those were urinals back there. You see this old uh, trophy case. I guess trophies or, you know, whatever they put up a, a, a memorial board, whatever they call it in a church. This door it has a peephole to it. This, this is a very nicely paneled room. I like this. This paneling seems to have held up, for the most part, pretty well. There's an old cathode ray tube. Uh, he medical. Well, those little things you put out on the signs, little uh, letter things. A wig. And Garfield and normal. We got a bunny. And we got another bunny over there. Just kind of look around this room. Uh, curtains. Old dingy curtains. Very nice paneling. Oh, ceiling fan. I almost forgot. It. I always got to include the ceiling fan if there is one. It's not not even sagging like a lot of them do in abandoned buildings. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna move this stuff a little bit. Dress desk drawer devotions. Oh, I wanted to see what the signage said here. Jesus said, come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. All right.
in this room. <laughs> the room next door, it's very dirty. Come join us for Friends and Family Day. Yeah. Unbroken glass. We have an old intercom system. Look at that. And we got a temperature regulator. I want to see what that is. I think it's a turkey. I'm just, I'm looking at some of these, you know, like you have like these old style locks. Look at that. Pretty cool. We're going to look what's behind this. Yes, it was a turkey. Gobble, gobble. We have some more stuff over here. Oh, food. I don't usually mess with stuff so adamantly, but I don't know, just kind of looking at old signage and, and things is kind of neat to me. Set tapes, finding a lot of antiquated technology. Um, uh, the dates that I've seen so far uh, hinted around like the early 2000s. As a matter of fact, this calendar here is upside down, but it's a, it's a 2003 calendar. There's a DVD. Look at that, that's neat. I don't think I've really seen one like that. It's pretty cool. I have a still antiquated, but not as old as a rotary phone, phone there. Mm. I know I'm sniffling a lot, my ears tend to pop. And so I gotta unpop them by sniffling, and usually I end up doing it noisily. So I apologize if that annoys you. I try, I try to avoid doing it as much as possible. Or I can just kind of pinch my nostrils. But my hands are pretty full at the moment. So Yeah, look at that. This, this is down, going down into the fellowship uh, area. Tickets. Looking at tickets. There's some more of those letters. Ginger. Lots of asbestos down here. Let's see here. Where's our date? February 7th, 2012. Ladies' restroom. It's falling apart. It's got a lot of brick down here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is a... Let's see. This was the furnace room. There's a drinking fountain. And... Furnace. This was kind of creepy when I first saw it. The shirt hanging off of the mop handle. Like, who's standing there? I'll show off some industrial decay beauty here. Pretty cool. It's kind of the electrical panels and water heaters and all that kind of stuff. And there's another restroom for the gentlemen. We got a lot of chairs in here. This kind of takes us up towards the front of the church. This doorway. Oh yeah, there were a very questionable staircase. We're not going to go up that one. Oh yeah, there's that record player. I missed that on the second video, or maybe it was the third video. I've done too many videos today. Christmas ornaments. Floor buffer thingy. We have some other decorations here. I think that the snowman had a date on it. Yeah, it looks like it says 2003. Which correlates with the calendar we saw. So, one could imply that 
That was around the time of this church's closure. Let's see, what do we have back here? We have, it looks like a, an old bed frame. You can find those in the hospitals. Oh, it's a, I wonder what that was. Wow, it's a little, like, mini golf course thing. Like, it's got a little uh, putting green. Cool. And that's, whoa, okay, that kind of started to fall in on me a little bit. That's, that's part of that bed there. It, it tilted. Forgive us, Lord, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. <laughs> My little explorer, church-related humor. It's a, it's a little banner with some, there's an autumn scene on it. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm kicking glass, people. Yeah, this is the old kitchen. Oops. Tripping over everything. Yeah, you got all kinds of... These cabinets have definitely seen better days. You see a lot of uh, various platters for, you know, like vegetable platters and stuff like that. And here they all, they all appear to be plastic. Got toothpicks. Lots of cocoa. Hmm. If I wasn't sweating bullets, cocoa would sound pretty good right now. Let's see here we got ah, cocoa butter. <laughs> ah, it's funny when stuff sinks up like that. Uh, some very expanded, exploded baking soda. Canola oil, supplies, we got a microwave, we got an old school stove, there you go, ice cube trays, oh, wow, that is some old decayed food, look at those cans, like that one can right in the middle there, it looks like it's just rotted open. Tomato paste. Oh. Yeah. I just, uh, how long does it actually take a, a, a tin can or whatever they make cans out of now to decay like that? It, I mean, it takes years, doesn't it? The coffee can. Some saran wrap. Swiss Miss. That is some old stuff there. Yeah. That's some very offensive graffiti on that refrigerator. Knives and forks and spoons. Got some uh, flowers. Coffee cups, bowls and plates. I think uh, this this uh, mice have been in here probably. See the shredded paper. Oh, little wooden bowls. That's cool. Kind of smells like pee right there. That's gross. And this is falling, falling off of the wall. Look at that. That's disturbing. I'm just kind of walking. We're getting to the nasty refrigerator. Look at that. I still say the cabinets win the award for grossest part of the kitchen, but I don't know. It's a pretty, pretty close race. I have the, some uh, rules there, some signage. It's to hang on the door that isn't here anymore. So which, which way did we come from? I mean, originally, you know, yeah, I think, yeah, we come back over here. There's a little bit more of this church to see.
And we go we went in here, right? The paneled room. Yeah. Yeah, we were in there. Hmm. This is CBS or ABC. Hmm. Let's see, we weren't. Oh, this is the library, or it looks like a little bit, like a small landing library, is what this might have been. Let's see, various books on the shelves. Oh, oh, wow. That scared the crap out of me. I haven't seen those today yet. Big crickets. A couple of them jumping around. books there. There's a lot of magazines. VHS tapes. National Geographic from 1995, April 1980, 1997. Nice. Oh, I did see of mice and men earlier. Yeah, there it is. Steinbeck. Yeah, this place over here, this almost isn't even worth looking at. I mean, it is too. You know, I mean, seeing like like this kind of decay is is kind of cool in its its own in its own way, I guess, but. I don't know, it's one of those places you don't want to hang around too long. You can see all the collapses and everything. It gives kind of a surreal surreal experience, I guess, when you're exploring a building and you go from nearly pristine to falling apart and just on the brink of just absolute worthlessness. There, there's a lot to be said about decay. I guess the beauty of something like nature taking over and... Everything just kind of collapsed. I don't know. I'm, I'm being too, uh, what, philosophical here? I'm just kind of running off. <laughs> I'm going I'm to be an art critic for abandoned places now. <laughs> Uh, really, though, it's it's just a, an excellent place to step on a nail or have something fall on you that you don't want to fall on you. But it, it's interesting. It's, it is a hell of a contrast. I like that. These kind of buildings. Yeah, when I was looking at Google Maps, this, this church looked pretty big. I mean, it had like that big sanctuary part, and then you, you have this huge back of the building, which is all this, you know, the fellowship areas and classrooms and whatnot. All right. Wasn't a whole lot of interest in here either. Although there is one of the old fashioned big screen TVs. Let's beat all beat all up. Alright. Let's see. I wanted to find there was one room that had a bunch of uh, amusing wallpaper on it. And I forgot where it was. It was really cool. Uh, I think it was back here. Let's see. Which room was it? Was it? Oh, I keep getting hung up on that. Oh. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show you all this. Yeah, this is... I found this amusing. You know, just kind of... Various children, various orders are given out to their kids. 
Please keep snakes out of your room, also turtles and snails. Go to bed, go to bed. Pretty cool. It's an old classroom. Looks like I've hit just over, or, or just under 31 minutes here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut off this video while I'm still wandering through stuff. Uh, this is a this was a pretty neat explore, and uh, I'm heading back towards the front here. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I really hope that this video will be successful and not cut off. Like, I need to stop talking before it cuts off. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy this, uh, this explore of a pretty good-sized church. Uh, of course, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. This is C4 Explorer signing off, saying thank you, have a great day, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.